Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICC Mathematics Class 8 Chapter 25 Area of Rectilinear Figures Exercise 25B Question 1. This is find the area of each of the following triangles. What we have to do is, we have to find the area of triangles. Till now, we have learned area and perimeter of square, area and perimeter of rectangle, and a diagonal of square and diagonal of rectangle. Now what we are going to learn is the area of a triangle. So there's a formula for area of a triangle and what does that formula say? It says 1 by 2 multiplied by base multiplied by height. So you can see two things we need to know base and height. How we will get that? See, I'll make here, just to tell you, I'll make here three triangles. Try to understand it this way. Right. So, here. Three triangles I have. And in these three different triangles, I'll be making something and you'll be telling me what that thing is. See. Right. This one and then this one right dotted lines or whatever you want to make it then one here from here something like this so here you can see what i have made i have made three dotted lines in three different triangles as you can see over right you can give this name if you feel like a b c a b c a b c now you can see here try to understand what is the base what is the height this height is the perpendicular distance between any point on the figure and the side opposite to it. So you can see this point A it is, right? And it is the perpendicular distance to this BC. So you can see this new thing. Let's put this here D. So this AD is my height. B and C on which my perpendicular is landing will be the base. Same thing here. Now, it is not always this, okay, this case is not always there. Some kids, sometimes what they do, they make this perpendicular on AB and they land it on C. So, in this case, C and this, again, you can name this as D. CD is your height. AB is the base. Same here, BD will be your height. AC is the base. So, we have to obtain the values of these three. Then only we can find out the area. So, let's quickly see. In such type of triangles where you can see I have this thing, you can see this is half of that complete triangle. It is a right angle triangle and if I will extend it here, so it will form a complete triangle. So half of it, which is the height here? That is 1 by 2 into, now see base is the side on which my perpendicular is going. Always look and if you see 90 degree angle, that is your height if it says perpendicular if it says height if it says shortest distance between the two or perpendicular distance then it's all that that comes under your same thing height so you can see this 12 centimeter is going perpendicular this is your height and it is coming on 5 so into 5 into 12 cancel cancel so this becomes 30 square centimeters this is the area of the triangle let us move on to the next part now see the next part here we have again this is a complete triangle and in this you can see the perpendicular distance is coming here it is 5 centimeters so my height is 5 centimeters you can write this formula again it's i'm not going to write this down one by one so we're going to have one by two into base base you can see perpendicular is coming on this side this side is given of 13 centimeters so take this entire 13 and put it so into 13 into now height is given put 5 centimeters into 5 65 upon 2 that's your 32.5 square centimeters that's your area let's move on to the next part now you can see over here what we have is area of the triangle so you can see the height is given as 5 centimeters uh, and the uh, your base that is 8 centimeters so again you will do this very easily area is 1 by 2 into base 8 into height that is 5 8 into 5 40 by 2 that's your 20 square centimeters this is the area 
and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye